out here, you have to be prepared for anything. That means having the right equipment that's functional and reliable, like the products we make at Stromberg Carlson. Today we're going to talk about fifth wheel landing gear. We offer landing gear in seven configurations, but don't worry, they're basically the same. The variances all relate to leg length and motor strength. Here you see our LG1 landing gear system. We also offer this in a manual system, as well as other powered single systems, LG2, LG3, and LG4. And here we have our dual power conversion kits that we offer, LG5 and LG6. While the first five systems are complete standalone systems, these two are designed to convert your existing single power system into a dual power system. To replace a complete dual power system, you would need to buy two of either of these. If you already have a landing gear system but are looking to upgrade or replace components, you will need to first determine if the parts are compatible with your system. Our replacement parts include legs, motors, gearboxes, switches and harnesses, and cross shafts. They're compatible with Venture, Lippert, also known as LCI, and pack rim landing gear systems. Our leg gear repair kits are compatible only with Venture landing gear systems. If you're unsure of the manufacturer of your existing system, check your RV user guide, call your RV manufacturer, or look up a model number on your system. Model numbers can oftentimes be found under the cap on the top of your landing gear leg or labeled on the motor. A simple web search should reveal the manufacturer based on the model number you find. So your landing gear isn't working and you don't know where to start? Over time, your fifth wheel landing gear experiences a lot of wear and tear, especially the legs. So let's start there. First, we want to make sure the problem is with the legs and not a motor or a battery issue. If you have no obvious leg damage, but the system isn't raising or lowering, you will want to see if you hear any gear clicking or slipping or friction with the leg. You can test this by manually cranking your system both sides if you have a dual power system. If you hear friction or grinding in your leg as you're manually raising or lowering it, you will need to replace your leg. Be sure to take the measurement of the outer black tube in order to determine the proper leg to purchase. If there's no grinding, but you hear a clicking noise coming from the top of your landing gear leg, it is likely you have damaged gears. In addition to the gearbox mounted next to the motor, there are gears under the cap of your leg. We do have leg gear repair kits available for Venture landing gear systems. In order to replace these gears, you'll need to remove the leg. Now that you identified the problem is with your leg, you'll need to remove your leg to either replace or repair it. For safety purposes, hook your fifth wheel up to your truck to support the trailer load prior to removing your landing gear leg. In a manual or single powered system, the lead leg has a motor, powered system only, and a gearbox attached to it, which is connected to the follow leg by a cross shaft. You will need to disconnect the cross shaft, motor, and gearbox to replace the lead leg. The follow leg has no hardware at the top and can be removed on its own after disconnecting the cross shaft. Your landing gear leg is held in place with two tabs or stops located near the center of each leg. You will need to unbolt these, then your leg should slide out. In a dual powered system, there's no cross shaft, but you will still need to remove the motor and gearbox before removing the damaged leg. Once the leg or legs are removed, you can replace or repair them as needed. So say you try to manually crank your landing gear and nothing happens. No movement transfers to the motor whatsoever. You need to replace your gearbox. We offer replacement aluminum gearboxes designed for durability. Okay, so say your gearbox isn't the problem and your legs are fine too it's possible you need a replacement motor. One primary reason is the motor drive shaft has sheared. To check this, remove the motor from your system. Your shaft should look like this. If you're dealing with a sheared shaft, you will need a replacement motor. We offer replacements in both 5,500 pound and 6,500 pound capacities. If you have or purchase a 6,500 pound motor and begin blowing fuses, be sure to shorten your wire harness. 
as extra wire increases the resistance heat in the system and results in blown fuses. So now you've tested your legs, gearbox, and motor, and they're all working, but the system clicks when operating under power. The possibilities are you have a bad ground, a bad battery, or battery connection, or you're drawing too much power and overloading the system. To check your ground, you'll want to be sure to have a clear, clean, metal-to-metal -metal connection with no ground wire fraying or other damage. If your ground is good, check your battery to make sure it's amply charged for operation of your 12-volt landing gear system. If both your ground and battery test fine, you may have overloaded the capacity of your system. Fifth wheel landing gear has to lift approximately 20% of your entire trailer weight. Oftentimes, the front cargo hatch and bunk are used for storage, which increases the direct load on the landing gear system. If redistributing the weight from the front to the rear does not resolve your clicking issue, it's possible you may need a stronger system. For these circumstances, we do offer heavy duty motors as well as dual powered conversion kits I previously mentioned. Hopefully, we have been able to help you troubleshoot your system and get you back on the road with two strong legs under you and a wide open road ahead of you. Now that's Stromberg Strong.